Now we're talking about regeneration. Regeneration is a, 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 a very wonderful thing. Um, in fact, Nigel Calder has suggested that it's one of the keys to this entire diesel-electric uh, hybrid industry. The ability to sail along and use the motor that was pushing the boat to actually recharge the battery pack. Um, the key to a diesel-electric hybrid is having a battery pack that can store energy, that can bring renewable inputs in. And the biggest of these renewable inputs is the motor itself. The motor itself is hooked up to the propeller and internally has magnets. These magnets are very efficient. Um, for those techies out there, they are neodymium iron boron magnets that have a spattering of samarium cobalt to give them higher temperature characteristics. The way regeneration works is that energy will build up when this prop is freewheeling, energy will build up inside the windings of the motor and when it does it will then dump into the battery pack. This is actually a very wonderful phenomenon that it works that way um, because it emulates the high dollar pulsed battery chargers. Uh, the reason they work so well is they allow a rest period for the batteries to accept the charge that's been given to them. Energy will build up inside the windings, dump into the batteries, that brings this ener the energy in the windings down to zero and gives the batteries a rest period while the energy is building back up um, in, in the windings. When it gets back up to the voltage that equals the voltage of the battery pack, then it'll dump again. That dumping takes microseconds. Um, you'll actually be able to see it on your e-meter. Um, uh, 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 and, and your e-meter will, will uh, be at some small level, and then all of a sudden you'll see it go up to 5, 7, 8 amps, and then it'll drop down to a low level, and then it'll come back up. And you'll, you'll see that alternating as you sail along of the energy building up and, and dumping. Um, this regeneration um, can really be significant. Um, most of the monohulls that we've done generate uh, between, say, four and a uh, maximum of eight to ten amps. That doesn't sound like much. Four to, we'll use the smaller number, eight amps. Um, uh, but when you suddenly realize that that's four to eight amps at 144 volts DC, now all of a sudden, if we multiply this out, we find out that we're generating a kilowatt of power off of the propeller, and this can be continual. In the catamaran world, we have seen numbers from 10 amps to 20 amps, which of course means 1.4 kilowatts to as much as 3 kilowatts of energy just off of the propeller. Now on a catamaran, we're also taking this times 2. So, in fact, on some of the Atlantic crossings of the Lagoon catamarans, they were generating between 3 and 6 kilowatts of energy off of the propeller alone. That is a significant amount of energy. That is enough energy to run an air conditioner. We've had boats go for as much as 20 days without using a single drop of fossil fuel and had energy to 
run hot water heaters, flat screen TVs, turn on the air conditioner, turn on the water maker. This is a significant benefit to these systems. These catamarans and sailboats that have gone on long cruises, um, uh, the, the uh, users have just absolutely raved about the fact that they could make energy off of the wind real time as they were sailing along.